Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. We have another Heathkit SB220. We're going a lot of these. So this one this must be like uh, over 750 or so. I'm getting up near 800 that I've worked on so far. I mean, I work on a lot of these amplifiers. I love working on these. So I'm going to go over everything I need to do real quick. I already did some free tests. Needs a new fan motor. Turned it on and it was really noisy. So I'll replace that. Needs a new capacitor on the plate side. You can see the, the edges of the metal here are pretty uh, melted and sharp and burnt up, you know, so, so I'll change that out. Solder joint's bad over here. Always check that. Band switch is okay, which is good. A positive. I'm going to change the plate blocker. I always do that. Put a new high energy corp type in. I'm going to, I'll take out the parasitic suppressors and I will wind brand new ones. Put those in. It's getting the metering board from Harbach. Filter cap board kit from Harbach. So, and uh, put the series glitch resistor in. Change the meter lamp bulbs. I'll do everything I normally do underneath. I'll show you really quick. So, I always tag in a cap real quick I'll, I always I'll, you know I'll redo it that's just to test it because um, I've had these come in and the stock cap is shorted so I don't want to put any shorts on that winding on the filament transformer I always do this to make sure the transformer is okay you know because if the winding is damaged on the filament transformer and depending on what else is wrong with it, it can end up becoming a parts unit you know if the customer doesn't want to put you know that money into it to replace it so someone uh, added us a, a standby operate switch so I'll clean this up you know, it's just dangling in there and uh, so that's about it I'll uh, go over everything and uh, then I'll when I'm all done I'll, I'll show you everything I did so stay tuned see you soon Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. This amp got a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome company, great customer service over there. So here's the old era variable capacitor that was on the plate side. You can see it is just toast. Okay, so I replaced the two uh, knobs. Uh, this one was damaged. It was actually seized on here and the shaft was actually seized for the band switch, uh, output band switch and the input rotor switch. So I got, I had fixed that and uh, a screw on this side for this knob uh, was stripped. So anyway, I got that off, replaced the two knobs with some original knobs. So I got the brand new air variable capacitor. It's all installed. Brand new plate blocking cap, brand new parasitic suppressors that I made. Band switch is good. Fixed that solder connection. I cleaned the band switch and the input rotary switch with deoxic gold. Brand new fan motor. So I didn't point this out before, but he had screws going through. Machine type screws with no nut. So I replaced all of them with new screws and kept nuts so it's all secured really well got the hard bock metering board put the series glitch resistor in I always tighten the inner nuts they are always loose so take the outer nuts off and I snug up on the inner ones place the meter lamp bulbs zip tied everything real nice hard bock filter cap board so that's about it for the top I will flip it over and show you the bottom. See you soon. So here's the bottom. I secured his wire for his standby operate switch. Zip tied everything really well. So it's temporarily wired for 120. I'll put it back to 220. Change the electrolytic cap over here. Everything's all soldered well. I ran out of copper straps, so I used some silver plated copper. So the grids are grounded really well. The filament choke to filament connections over here were just tagged on with solder. I unsoldered it and I crimped the wire over. So now it has a really strong connection before it was soldered. And I put solder on it obviously also. So really good connection there for both the filament connections. Did the bias modification. 
clean the TR relay slash TR slash bias relay with deoxid gold. And uh, this thing is all set. The SO239s are good. I'll show you the back. So, so thanks for watching. If you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call. My phone number is 203-892-4119. I only service the amp CC on my YouTube channel. I do not get involved with sweep tube amplifiers or any other models at this time. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.